Hey, what's going on, you guys? Um, on this video, we're going to look at place value, and we're going to practice uh, converting numbers between standard and expanded forms. All right, so standard form is just the regular way you see numbers written. Like the number 15 right here is written in standard form. Number 7, the same thing. 345 and 5,390. Standard form is just the regular way that you see numbers. Okay, expanded form is what we call when we take the number apart. So what I mean when I say that is you're going to take this 5 in your tens, and we know that 5 is actually worth 50. So it's 50. And then you're going to write a plus sign, and then you're going to add your 1s in. So I have 6 1s. So 56, written in expanded form, is just 50 plus 6. Okay, so we're taking apart the numbers. So we're separating every different place value. So 723, always start with your biggest number. So I have a 7 in the hundreds. So I'm going to write this in expanded form starting with 700 plus, and then you take your tens. This 2 is actually worth 20 because it's in the tens, plus 20, and then you add your 1s, plus 3. So 723, written in expanded form, looks like this. 700 plus 20 plus 3. Okay, um, on this assignment, you're going to have to do four-digit numbers, so let's practice some of those. So now I have uh, my biggest number is in the thousands place, so I'm going to start there. So I'm going to write... 3,000 plus, and then you got to come take your hundreds. So this 4 is worth 400. And then you add your tens. I have 0 in the tens, so I don't actually have to add anything. You could type plus 0, but you don't need to. So I'm not going to do it. And then you just go on to your ones. So plus 5. So 3,405. Looks like this in expanded form. Okay, um, the instructions on your assignment say write each number in expanded form. Okay, and it looks like this. So you have questions one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, to write each number in expanded form. All right, so start with your largest number, which would be your thousands place, right? So you got five thousand, actually. I'll do it down here. 5,000 plus your hundreds. So that 9 is in the 100 spot, so that's actually 900 plus your tens. 6 tens is worth 60, so you have plus 60. And then your little ones here is just 3. So 5,963 looks like that in expanded form. Okay, 7,109. So start with your largest, which would be your 7 in your thousands. So you have 7,000 plus 100. You have zero tens, so you don't need to worry about it. You could do this plus zero, but that's just kind of a waste of time in my opinion. So I wouldn't do it, but you can. And then you just go on to your ones. So I have nine ones. Okay, so 7,109 in expanded form looks like that. Okay, so again, just start in your thousands. So you have 2,000 plus your number in the hundreds column. You only have one, so it's 100. Plus the number in your tens, you have 110, so it's 10. And then you have two ones, so just plus two. All right, so that's questions one through seven. If you want, you might want to go do those seven and then come back to this video because I'm going to do the second part of the assignment in the video now. All right, so for the second part of the assignment, you have to go expanded to standard, so kind of the opposite of what we were just doing. So instead of giving you a standard number and then you expanding it or pulling it apart, now we're going to give it to you already expanded and you got to put it back together. All right, so the way you do that, you're going to start with your thousands again. So your 
only going to type your five from your thousands. Because next, you're going to add your hundreds. So you have 300. Okay, then you move on to your tens, 20, and then you add your ones, four, three. So this guy smushed back together would look like this in standard form, 5,323. Okay, so always start with your largest number. So you have thousands on this assignment. So you're going to start with your eight for your 8,000. You're going to find your seven for your hundreds. Now you're going to check your tens. You have six tens. Then you're going to add your ones, and you have nine ones. So 8,769. Same number, just two different ways to show it. All right, 1,000 plus 400 plus 10 plus 1. I'm going to write that in standard form like this. I'm going to take this 1 from my 1,000. I'm going to take this 4 from my hundreds. Take this 1 from my tens and this one from my ones. So 1,411. All right, last one. And here's kind of the tricky part. So you gotta pay close attention here because I noticed you have one of these on your assignment. So take your thousands, and then you gotta check for your hundreds. So this number 2,000 plus 50 plus eight has no hundreds. So what you need to remember to do is to write a zero to hold that place value, okay? You do have a 10, your number in your 10, so that would be 50 here, and then add your ones for eight. All right, second part of that assignment looks like this. So it says write these numbers in standard form, so exactly what we are just doing, right? So top part, pull them apart into expanded form. Bottom part, smush them back together for standard form. Um, notice here it says type the number in expanded form. Do not use spaces. So the example I gave you, you just type your 2000 plus your 300 plus your 70 plus your 3. No spaces. All right. Um, just notice that there's no instructions down here when you get to 8. But that's just right here where it says write these numbers in standard form. So just smush them back together. All right. Good luck.